how to achieve overlay text effects like this in Canva. On a new page, add your text. So for this, we're going to write just breathe. Now add your image. Make it fill the background like this. Click remove background and then position move to front. You can choose to leave it like this, but that's not what we are trying to achieve. Now click the text, duplicate it, and then click effect and the holo effect. You can choose to adjust the thickness. You can even also change the color to your preference. But for this, we'll leave it as white. Let's repeat the same process for the breathe text. Click the text, duplicate, position the text on top, go to effect, click holo. And then you can adjust the thickness based on what you want. You can also play around with the positioning. So let's increase this a bit and then add a shadow. So just go to element and search for shadow. Then we we'll position shadow backwards. Now let's do this for another image. Use this image. We'll click set image as background. Double tap the image. So we make sure the grid is right. Now put our text. So the what we're trying to achieve for this is to still have this image so click edit click magic grab and then you can now grab this image separately from the background you can see that the image is different from the background now click on the text then duplicate the text go to effects click holo and just repeat the same process we did earlier we'll do the same for the trends text so go to position Click trends, then duplicate. Click effect again, and then click holo. You can also do this for videos, but we'll make a separate video on that. So now, this is what we have. You can choose to move this around just to create any effect you want. Now, let's use this last image. Then, for this, we will not set the image as background. We'll increase it to fit the screen. Then click duplicate and remove the background of the duplicated image. You can see we have to place it on top. Put your text. Now put your text behind the image. So go to position arrange then put it backwards behind the duplicated image so this is just if you do not want to use the magic grab then we we'll just repeat the same process of using the holo effect now let's do the same for the trends duplicate this text then move this backwards you can also do the same process if you are designing with your mobile phone. This is the, a way you can showcase typography in different format. Let me know if you'll be trying this out and please subscribe. See you in my next video. Tchau,